John Hughes, owner and builder of Slime, is a living legend in the multi-hole world. Since her original build in 1987 from Malcolm Tennant's design plans, Slime has been modified into a custom design and build carbon rocket ship. As the boat lives up in Maharangi Harbour, we headed for a pickup at Sullivan's Bay. With retractable centreboards and rudders, she is perfect for shallow water, and our pickup was directly from the beach, although we did have to take our shoes and socks off. Back in deeper water, we raised the sails and headed off upwind in a fresh southwesterly. Her self tacking sail plan is simple and efficient. With the well balanced helm, it's a leisurely walk across the 8.8 .8 metre beam to the other cockpit when tacking. As the wind freshens, we reef the mainsail and head up wind, pointing higher than many monohulls thanks to her slim hulls, tight headsail angles and large centreboards. The speed is deceptive, like an illusion. Once we have made enough ground to windward, we shake out the reef and ease the sheets and off we go. At speed she's wet to lured and the odd slap creeps along the windward hull, but that's to be expected at 24 knots. It's amazing how stable and comfortable the boat is, and Hughes observed when we slowed to 20 knots this is her most comfortable cruising speed. Hugh's philosophy is to create the lightest, strongest structure using most of the usual deck gear, not attached by bolts but built with carbon and moulded into the boat itself in an effort to save weight. Consequently, all the Dyneema shrouds are tied on, rudders are lifted with cords and even the simple carbon foldaway stairs down the companionways reflect the simplicity of the design. Slime weighs in at just 3.1 tonnes. With the wind lightning, the big headsail was rolled out and we headed back to be dropped off back at the beach. Stepping off the boat at the end of the day sailing, there's only one way to sum up the giddy elation. Smile, you've been on slime. <laughs>